Hello, hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel as always. Today's video is a pretty interesting one. We had managed to beat a team of 250 to 25, and I'm going to go through just exactly how we did that. Um, coming up, now, just before we get into it, I just wanted to say that the teams were fairly evenly matched. There was uh, three masters, including myself, and an elite on my team, and there was the exact same on the other team. So three masters, one elite per team. Um, so generally evenly distributed team um, we were in a four man here which I don't like to do normally no, I don't often do it to be honest just because it feels a bit, a bit cheaty but when I'm desperate for some skill rating um, I most definitely make most of having a teammate and for whatever reason I couldn't get through that door there God knows what happened um, so yeah I'm not entirely sure what the exact reason was to why they only got 25 seconds um, well I think I think we outslayed them that was one thing and I don't think they were particularly playing for the objective as much as we were. I mean, that's an obvious thing, really, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, so the team I've got here, uh, here is myself, Wes or Soleil, uh, DLS and God. Pretty good, solid teammates here. Um, and we do pretty evenly. Like, no no one person stands out. Like, I don't fry or anything like that. We just get good, solid games in. And we hold heals perfectly. And I over chow, just like that. I don't know why I did that. I was already weak. Um... Yeah, we were really playing for the still time. I think we were just running for subs, and it was quite good fun, to be fair. Um, but yeah, let me know how you're getting on with your Vanguard uh, rank sort of situation. Um, are you still enjoying it? That is the main thing. Because if you're not, what's the point? Um, but yeah, so I'm playing, playing super cruddy right now. Again, you win hard point by capturing the hill. That's that's the bare bones of this game mode. Um, so there's no point in over challenge. There's, there's something I see a lot of people do is... They've got heal time, and they will contest. Instead of, instead of you know, uh, they won't contest, sorry. They'll, yeah, they'll contest as in they'll challenge. So instead of just contesting, being happy that neither of you are getting points, a lot of people I see try and get that kill, which is fine, but then they control that engagement. They're sat, for example, there when I was on the barrels, um, they're contesting. Well, we're contesting the hard point. No one's getting a point. They're going to have to challenge, or I'm going to have to challenge. But I'm just sad that I'm happy we're winning. I can contest at the end of the, end of the game if it needs be. Um, so yeah, if you can test and pre-aim, there's only really a certain way they can kill me there. Um, so exactly where, which is why I exactly knew exactly where it was going. Um, yeah, so we're throwing absolutely again here. Managed to pick up two pieces. I, was th I think we're playing super decently as a team. We're not too. This hill is one of the biggest hills. Um, get get a game uh, in 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 points and hard point in my opinion. If you look at the map right now, we've got a pretty good setup. We've got one person capturing time. We're picking up sort of every area. We're sort of if you drew a line across us from the map, it's, we're covering everything. So we're absolute stinker of a game for them so far. It's 130, 140 odd. Um, it's not even 10. Um, and like that, there we are. The, the, the ego in these guys is astounding, and I die. I think the fact we're in a four-man does help here because we're able to, you know, communicate exactly where people are and call out one-shots and there's a lot of team shooting going on, like in trades, left, right and centre. And it means you can rely on your teammates because I know all my teammates here have got good gunny, you know, it's one of them things you can just rely on them getting the kill. I think at some point during this, one of them ended up giving up because... I don't know why. I know why they were getting sharpened, but I wouldn't have if I was in that position. You fight till the end, don't you? It's ranked. You don't want to lose SR. The worst thing you want to do is come bottom of your team because then you lose even more. So you just try and play. If you don't win, try and play the best you can do and reduce the amount you're going to lose. <laughs> so right here, I'm playing a bit cruddy. Now, I know that we were spawning out so that they're going to be spawning to my left, which is how I read that, that gunfight there. Um, it wasn't really much of a fight. Um, yeah, and now we just sort of got spawns, got this side of the map on control, and we're just sort of playing, playing here. Now, I like to sit in this sort of position when we're on the hill, just because I can trade teammates out. I can just watch them if they jump down this side, which is quite a common thing for them, for them to do. Um, and it's just quite a nice way. It does mean your teammate might die, but it eventually means that you can get on the hill, which is the main thing. That's the only distraction. If someone comes through the tunnel, uh, that's where you're going to get shot. In the ass, Like that. I don't really know why I call these streaks out. Uh, I think it was because I was getting close to streaks like a couple of times. So I didn't want to waste them completely. Um, 
And really, that streak did nothing for the team apart from getting them off the hill, which I suppose stopped them getting any more points, but hey, okay, is what it is. So considering this is a Bowcage game, um, it went pretty quickly. As I said, it was like a seven minute game, which is nuts, because even if it went down to game time, which it often does, it's over 10 minutes. So I think this was their biggest chunk of time here. I don't think they got much more out of this, and I don't. The reason why is because we were just sort of. You don't want to just dive in head first, challenge, get the kill, because they, you're not really going to know what corner to stand. Especially on this hill, they could be in the contest spot. And there's no, there's no knowing completely. And I'm just trying to wangle my way out of there, annoyingly giving them a few more seconds of time. But hey ho, I died anyway. So what was the point? So I think at this stage we are playing three people because one person has unfortunately stopped playing. Um, which has made this even more easy. It did get a bit boring, a bit slow towards the end. We could have probably thrown out a little bit more. And to be fair, we were all winning gunfights. If we wanted to, we could have got off the point, let it run down the time and absolutely stay out. There's still 3 minutes 20 on the on the time um, off of hill. So that's a lot of time. We could have let them get some points here and, you know, slayed out proper. But we thought, you know what, let's see how much we can be. Well, initially, we were like, let's put them in the 250 club. Um, but yeah. I think this is it. I think they've given up here. So yeah, this is going to be the game. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a quick one, but I hope you guys can see what, you know, the difference of a team makes um, and how you guys should work together to ensure that you don't get the loss. I mean, we don't win every match, let's be fair. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. I've got a couple of videos coming out later in the week, so make sure you sub to look forward to that. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.